Hi guys, so I fin just finished researching a way for you to um, print the dirty rag files so that you don't have to use um, Cricut or Silhouette because sometimes Cricut and Silhouette does not read the gradients in those airbrush files well. They don't do well with um, certain graphics. It's not all of them, it's just some of them. And there's no way to tell which one will work with it until you actually open it in that program, in Design Space or Silhouette um, Studios or whatever the name Silhouette stuff is. So I tried Inkscape. Now I've had Inkscape on my computer for a long time and I've only did minimal stuff with it because this is just, it's just too busy and it's not um, beginner friendly at all. So this is pretty easy and straightforward. What you will want to do is hit file and then when the drop down menu comes um, up, go to import import an image and I've already did that um, beforehand so it brought me to this um, box here once you get to this box just hit OK and you as you see this image is bigger than the um, the work area this is eight and a half by eleven that is standard that's what um, Inkscape documents open as eight and a half by eleven so you wanna if you wanna print the files for um, this is something new I'm working on. I'm print. I'm making the files where they are they are 11 by 11, so they'll be bigger and full image files. But if you have one of the other images, which I'll open one of those in a second too. But let's talk about this 11 by 11 first. So your um document working area is eight and a half by 11 and the way you want to size that if you want to size that up to 11 by 11 then you will hit hold on file then you'll go down to document Pro properties and then here you can change your units to inches and then just put it on 11 wide and 11 high and close that out and now you have 11 by 11 and if you're going to use this image for a rag t-shirt whatever then you'll want to take and go up to object and then you want a horizontal flip and then file and then print Okay, that's for the 11 by 11 now let me go open an image a regular image okay you see I've already opened up um, an image or a name airbrush name and it's larger than the eight and a half by 11 document so to let me make sure this is locked to you want to make sure if you want to resize something you make sure this lock is on up here before you start to resize it or it will stretch it out of proportion if you want to size it proportionally you can so if you're just going to do a quick little name on a shirt you know this shirt is eight and a half um i mean the document is eight and a half by eleven so if you want the um the name to be eight and a half or eight, I would say eight and a quarter, just eight to be on the safe side. If you wanted to be eight inches wide, then you can size it to fit accordingly. You can, I think in here, let's see, in here, let's go up here and we can change this to inches. And this will tell you what size this um, image is. So you can click in here and you can say eight inches. And it will size that image to eight inches and it is doing it by the bounding box not the actual image so the actual image is a little smaller so if you want it eight inches then or you know eight inches for the name then you can print it as is if you want it a little bit longer then you can rotate this To figure it out because I really don't use this program 
so object let's see rotate it counterclockwise so you can counterclockwise or clockwise it doesn't matter and then you just size it up and that way it will print almost the length of the paper you don't want it 11 even so you want so 11.3 Six, three, and then print that out and then you'll have a large image for your um, shirt now if you don't if this confuses you well first you'll have to um, and then after that you want to object if you do it this way this you're gonna vertical flip it I think no let's see let's see where's we'll see together Yes, your vertical flip if you do it this way. So let me step back. Control Z to step back. Now let's say that confuses you. You can also change your the document size. So if you know you're going to be printing maybe a 10 inch wide name to go on a shirt or whatever, then you can go ahead and change your document size and you can make it. 11 well I would make it 10.5 by 8 that way if you stretch this all the way to the end of the um work area you're not going over and it will cut just fine. it will print I mean print not cut print just fine so then you you can work with it like that and then you can take your image and horizontal flip and then print it out and press it to whatever you're going to put it on. I hope this helps.